Welcome back, everyone. We all know how much pets improve our lives each and every day. And this week, we met 11 more who are ready to bring that joy to someone soon. Before we say goodbye for the week, we want to revisit all of our furry friends just one more time because we need to, right, Rick Yes, Morris? yes you can't. You can't see these babies enough. Oh. They're so cute. And 11 that we saw this yes. week. And we are now up to 808. Wow. Adoptions that we have helped make happen. So today is great. We're at 808. Let's keep it climbing. And we also saw many from different states, which we've been trying to do. Yep. So I put together a little something. So take a look. Aww. We kicked off the week with a trip to Arizona and a dog named Tootsie, an adorable terrier Westie mix with the cutest ears you've ever seen. She'd be best in a home where her humans are around a lot and her favorite pastime is holding down the couch. Then it was off to Long Island with short and sweet Shaboom. Originally rescued from the island of Puerto Rico, he is a true mix with the cutest little basset hound legs on the bottom and a fairly large Labrador head on top. He loves to cuddle and play and is surprisingly mellow for being such a young pup. Yesterday, Bunko helped us celebrate National Pet Day. We met him at Great Plains SPCA in Kansas and he truly stole our hearts. Bunko is a one-year-old Lhasa Opso mix with spunky puppy energy and adorable shaggy hair. And we continued to celebrate Adopt-A-Greyhound Month in Virginia, where we were lucky enough to meet an eight-year-old retired racing dog named Lucky. Lucky is lovable and lazy, and after years of racing, all he wants to do is put his feet up and enjoy the good life. Those close -ups. I love those close-up photos. Love I can't stand it. And I know we have some very exciting news. Literally, it's happening right now. One of those babies that we just saw in the video is being adopted as we speak. Yes, right this second. Bunko, the little shaggy black-haired oh. baby that we saw is being adopted right this second. We don't even have a picture to show oh, because it's in the works yeah, right now. Yeah. So we are at 809. Okay. Oh, We've they, the segment. We've gone up one. 809, <laughs> and I'm just saying, maybe Bailey would make 810, Ken. I'm just All yes. oh, those eyes on <laughs> Bailey. Yes. Oh, it caught me from across the yard. <laughs> Such a wonderful dog. Oh, those like, oh, look at that. Oh, Bailey was shepherd an mix. Those like piercing eyes and oh. so sweet. Just wanted to be rubbed and loved. Yes. So part so husky. Beauty. That's where the blue yes. eyes come eyes. from. Yes. Oh, oh, look at that. That's come on. Bailey's the one I said has the eyes like Cameron. He's available here in Thousand Oaks at I'll take Paul that. The dog, not Cameron. Rescue. Uh, no, with Cameron. Not available. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Right. <laughs> Bailey's available, not Cameron. Yes. Thank you for the clarifying that. <laughs> but I appreciate the compliment. I take it. Oh, Any <laughs> Okay. Oh, you know what? And I also love when our guests come here and they get involved. Lou oh, Dog yes. Phillips was just yes. here hanging out with you and he was trying to get our adorable little kitty Twilight adopted. He loves cats himself. He has five at home. I know. He was going to maybe five. leave with Twilight. He I ended was up with hoping, six. but look at me. He fell in love with little Twilight. Twilight was beautiful. Aww. Six years old. She just had kittens, but she is now ready to rock and roll and find her forever home. She's available here in North Hollywood at Heavenly Pets. Dot org oh, and oh. she is so darn sweet. Look at the eyes on eyes. her. So beautiful. And it's interesting, just to remind everybody, Lou was not a big cat person, but when he uh, had some yeah. rescues at home, he's all been, been transformed. So That's in case you think sad. you are too, it's important <laughs> to, uh, right. to know that. Now, Deb, you were snuggled up and got close oh, with Biscuit, too. My goodness. Now, I eat a lot of biscuit. biscuits in the kitchen, <laughs> and I wanted to eat this little biscuit, yes. too. He was so cute, Larissa. He was really shy and a little skittish because, you know, chihuahuas are yeah. little, so he got he was a little frightened until you cuddled him, and he was just the oh. sweetest little guy ever. He really was. He's such a little nugget. That's oh, what I kept calling him. He oh. looked like a little nugget. He's available at adoptmerescue.org here in L.A., and he's about three years young, and unfortunately, he has hasn't had a really stable home yeah. for any of it. Yeah. So when, when his foster mom leaves, she said he does get really sad and barks a bit, but that's a behavior that will get sure. better once he knows that, you that know, you're safe. coming back. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then, of course, uh, a few days ago, we had bunnies in our home for the yeah. first time. <laughs> Everybody fun. fell in love with these bunnies, thought they were adorable, inclu cool. including some of our guests, Harry Hamlin, uh, spent some time with the bunnies. Look at yeah. that bunny. He's yeah. like... 
It's not every day you show up at somebody's house right? and there's yeah. bunnies. Oh you know what I mean? A giant bunny. That's a bunny, everybody. Yes. Wells Adams also was here and was like, I want to see some bunnies. Yes. Got in on the bunny action. That's yes. right. And, there he and is. And that bunny was named Ginger, and Ginger is available for adoption. We also had Ink Drop and Luther on who are available for adoption as well. And I know, Maria, you fell in love with that one. Ink Drop was just stealing my heart. It, these bunnies were so precious and beautiful, and I have to tell you, JJ is the a soulmate because he loves animals. He, he everywhere we go, he's drawn to dogs, and I think he's like he would love this bunny oh, look how because that look at how he's wonderful this bunny is and just so soft and precious. <laughs> and I just couldn't help it. And you know they need a lot of work though. Like people that's don't what I learned. Yes, yes, yes. You know it's very important for us to talk about bunnies around Easter time. Mm -hmm. They are not good gifts. Let me repeat that they are not good gifts. Right. They are great animals to adopt when the time is right, but they they do require some extra work. Yep. So please think it through before you do anything impulsive when it comes to bunnies this season. All right, Larissa, let's get it up to 812. Let's with the do two it. that we could get adopted today. Yes, Remind gosh. us who's here today. Cartier stole beautiful. our hearts. Talk about a beauty. This wow. is a Samoyed dog. And this rescue, Humane Society of North Iowa, recently rescued over 300 that were in a puppy mill situation. Oh, 300? They processed that just 160 like that. at their facility, yeah. and so they need help. And you can find out more at the Humane Society of North Iowa. But yes, that was Cartier. He's six months old. He's just oh. a pup. He has lots of energy. And obviously that big, large coat that you saw does require a lot of grooming. So Samoyed's, uh, Samoyed experience would be very important to have if anybody's interested in Cartier. And and then we met Chico, who is another little big boy, a little big boy. <laughs> He's 13 years old, but you would not know it because he had so much energy, loves going hiking, loves going to the beach, loves car rides. Again, Chico, he's a bull terrier mix. He's available at Santa Maria Valley Humane Society. Are we sure he's 13? Chico. He was acting right. like he was three. That's, I, uh, I mean, you know what? I don't know. He's yes. got a no, lot he's of 13, energy. But, but, he, but he doesn't look it at all. No. So, yeah, he's a great little guy. Great job, everybody, showing some love for all these beautiful adoptable animals this week, and uh, especially Larissa, doing oh, the great work you. that you do to thank see you. all the animals that thank we feature you. each and every week. Go to HallmarkChannel.com and also Larissa's website, which is SavedByTheL.com. Come on back after the break more with the family.